This is the quickest story you'll hear. I tweeted it out this morning because I think she released an album. Today. Already I'm long. Pretty sure. okay. Already long. Taylor Swift? I worked at a karaoke bar in New Jersey every summer in college. I saw this. I was wondering. And there was this bratty 10-year-old girl that would come in with her dad every Thursday. And she'd bring her own karaoke mm-hmm. CD and sing. And every time she'd come in, my boss and I, and like the bartender, like, oh, this freaking no. girl. It's Taylor Swift. No. Yeah. That she's was from Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey. That's why she's Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. Look at the work she put in. Yeah. Her own at 10? CD. 10 yeah. years old. Yeah. She oh. could. She, I mean, she could jam and listen. I'll be the first one to tell you. I love Taylor Swift's music. I'll freaking rock I out like Taylor Swift's music. I like a buddy, couple of songs. My buddy Ross Tucker, who's a big NFL That's analyst, it. he had the Wait, best what? tweet of last like year. Two. He said, "Taylor Swift is better than Prince. Come at me." And Shut I said, up. "And I said, I 100% agree with you, you sir." You guys are wrong. Okay, yeah. see that I can't do. <laughs> no, no, that that. No. That's why that no. everybody's Get got the their taste. Fuck off. She's got a couple no, bangers. I'm leaving. She's got a couple bangers. She's got, a couple bangers. She's got <laughs> yeah. like a whole album of bangers. No, there's no. like two of them. Prince been, ha- everything getting, Prince has done is I'll a be banger. Honest, yeah. I think like I like two Prince songs, maybe three. How do, do no, have what, you heard the Batman soundtrack? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, but the movie's way better. Uh, the thing about Prince for me was always like I thought. Prince was the weirdest dude on the planet, and as a conservative kid from Pittsburgh, I wasn't really allowed to like like Prince. Uh-huh. And that, and for that reason, I was like, I don't know, he's a little too weird for me. And I always thought his music was just very okay. Right, but it's because you never got to experience it. <laughs> I've but seen not, Prince live. But not only, but not only is my he... legs just got restless. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <sighs> not you only is he an amazing, I think I figured out. Come at me, bro. Not only was he an amazing songwriter, he's one of the, the most underrated guitar players we've ever had. Yep, he I'm is sure. an incredible musician. There's not a lot of artists out there that do everything, and he did. And he was also weird and sexy at the same time. He's Perfect. He's five yeah. six. Like I get it. I get everybody's obsession with him. I'm not taking anything. Uh, what I'm saying is, me personally, my music, mm. I like Taylor Swift more than Prince. Okay, but here's the thing: if somebody <laughs> can take different. your album and redo it word for word, redo the whole album like Ryan Adams yeah, did, which is and amazing. make it better <laughs> than your album, that's that is a that is a a hypothetical Point. better. Just saying. Point. It is good. It's so. It's, it's good. So. It's not T. Sweezy. Oh. I'm Come not, on. I, I, Out I never, of style. I never thought I'd say Look, this, but I'm disappointed awesome. in you, Josh okay, McCoy. Cool. Oh, you got <laughs> dad. You, guys you got disappointed dad music. Riley now. I've been campaigning for the rom-com to come back into theaters the, to get rid of superhero I'm, movies I'm with because the I like rock. them more. I'm with you on Yacht Rock. But putting out there Thank the you. Taylor Swift. That you, uh, also, Mindhunter has a uh, What a Fool Believes in episode two playing oh, in the background yes. of the bar. And I'm just like, he came from somewhere <laughs> back in a long ago. <laughs> 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 I 